I've been saving for my Cybertruck by buying Tesla stock, thinking the stock will go up when the truck gets released. After your recent retire on Tesla video, I noticed I'd surpassed the target goal laid out in the video. Should I hold on to Tesla stock and sell a different asset like ETH? And I've got my Bitcoin bag where I'd now, what I'd like for now, and I'm working on it hitting the retire on Solana number. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. The easy way to think about it is thinking again, back to the previous question, risk return and multiples. How much can you make on these assets? So what I did, I put together a table of my price prediction models. By the way, I'll add the retire on Tesla video here for those who haven't seen it. Um, but these are the multiples of Tesla versus Solana, obviously. <laughs> Tesla is less risky than Bitcoin <laughs> and Solana is a lot riskier than Bitcoin. So you got to take this as a grain of salt. And this is, I thought, a good illustration to explain exactly what I mean by managing risk and reward or your multiples. So if you take my low expectation, my bear case, and these are the multiples of the price today as to where I see it going in the next 10 years, if they survive, we don't know if Tesla is going to go to zero or Solana could go to zero. We don't know that, but if they do and they keep their dominant positions, uh, this is where I believe the price could go. So the bear case is the low is the multiple. You got Tesla doing about a 12 and a half X from here, 11 X and uh, Solana could do a 26 X from here over the next 10 years. Okay. So if you have a $10 stock, it becomes a $260 stock. That's what that 26 X means. The expected case, you can see Tesla doing about a 25 X. Over the next 10 years, that means by 2032. And of course, uh, Solana could be as high as uh, nearly 70x. And then the bull case, of course, it's off to the races. You know, Solana could theoretically go to over 100x if crypto is adopted and it is the leading layer one and everything runs on it from, you know, a retail perspective. And the bull case for Tesla is, of course, huge as well. So bear in mind, if you take the average of all three, you get nearly 3x the return from an asset like Solana than you would from Tesla, even though Tesla has insane returns by itself. But it doesn't mean you take your entire position and YOLO into something riskier. That's why you allocate according to risk. That's the big message today. So I hope that helps.